Hello, my name is Chris Clark. I'm the Artistic Director of Cinema St. Louis and the 31st Annual Whitaker St. Louis International Film Festival. I'm here today with one of our participating guest directors. Her name is Sophie Galbert, and her film Cherry is part of this year's New Filmmakers Forum Emerging Directors Competition, which is one of the longest running competitions in the festival. It honors first time feature film directors and uh, we put together five filmmakers each year and, and share their visions with each other and, and five jury members. And uh, there'll be one winner, which receives a $500 cash prize. Um, Sophie is not able to join us uh, in person this year, but we wanted to be able to talk to her uh, about the film and this fun work, uh, Cherry, which is uh, somewhat based on your own personal experiences with a topic that is you know, considered by some to be controversial, but, you know, it's part of who we are as people and, and women, um, you know, so it's a very natural kind of very American story, although you are not, where are you from? I, I, I forgot to ask that question earlier. You were, I don't think you were born in the United States, were you? So no, so um, so first, uh, thank you, Chris, for having me today. Uh, it's, uh, it's a honor to be, you know, to be here with you and to be able to talk about my movie. And thank you for the festival to to screen uh, Cherry. Uh, so no, I'm French, as you can tell. Uh, so I was so. born in yes. yeah, was born uh, uh, in in uh, in France, close to Paris. And um, no, I live in Los Angeles. So I used to be a Parisian for ten years, and now I'm kind of uh, Angelina. And, you know, you you move around the planet, you know, working with different festivals and, and you, you're always kind of going going somewhere and you're you're about to take another trip uh, somewhere else. So um, so, you know, you're living, living the great life as the filmmaker and you've made you know, other films yourself. This is your first feature um, and, you know, sort of based on on yourself. So, you know, what what inspired you to tell this particular tale that that is both personal and in a very specific topic yeah so it's funny because i did travel a lot like when i was younger i did like this all around the world trip and actually i i crossed the Z from miami to la with a car so I, I saw a lot i met a lot of people and when i moved to la six years ago i wanted to start from you know from fresh from scratch so i kind of put aside all the story i was uh, working on and i thought i thought that i wanted to write a story for my first feature that would be really uh, competing and personal and so I, I did a little bit of introspection actually and i thought okay what are what are the most important thing that happened to me or the most challenging or something that really pushed me out of my you know my you know i don't know not my uh, zone of comfort but really challenged me and I realized that I had an abortion when I was 25 and I never talked about that like to anyone. And I was like, maybe that's a perfect story to tell because why woman doesn't talk about that? Why so is it, I mean, some women talk about that, but why is it so taboo? And why is it like you say, so controversial when actually it happened like every day and despite the fact that it's legal or not, it's happened and it, it will continue to happen because it, all, it, it did happen like since the beginning of humanity. So. I thought that was uh, the perfect story to tell because I never told, uh, you know, I never shared that story. And I thought that finding the courage, you know, like the strength to to put this story in, in image, I hope will help other women also to to share their their own story, whatever it is actually, you know. Uh, and actually, even before making this movie, it did happen when I was pitching my story to friends or to women that I met. Because I was suddenly, you know, t telling something very personal, they suddenly also opened their heart and they was telling me and they, they were sharing this little story that sometimes they never share with anyone. So it really like actually inspired me and helped me to keep, you know, making this movie because I saw right away that it will definitely um, support women and, you know, help just open the, an, a, a conversation at least. One thing that I really admired about it was its efficiency in storytelling. Uh, you know, it was a, a broad, sprawling tale, and, and, and Cherry wanders all over uh, Los Angeles, you know, talking to people and, and trying to find, you know, the answers she needs. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, there weren't no special effects, and you didn't have a lot of extra lighting, and you just sort of made, you know, a, a bunch of long sections kind of work together. and. and it was during quarantine and apparently there were fires in the hills and you had many, many challenges, but, but, you know, you know, how did you get to putting it down into this crunched 24 hour 
kind of mini odyssey to to put it all together because it, it wound up being so charming and it, it worked together so smoothly but you know you had to lift a lot of big blocks to get you know what do you not include and what do you include to make it all fit together in that you know little mm -hmm. burst uh, how did you get there so i think away from the first line when i was writing i thought about i may have to make this movie with nothing so you need to you, you need to be smart so i think that was part of my uh, you know, screenwriting, um, yeah, storytelling. I knew that I wanted a very simple story with a, as least element as possible, not too less. But I was like, okay, you have to. It, this movie needs to take place in one location, so so to say, like East East Los Angeles, where I really where I live. Um, it will follow only one character, and it will only resolve one answer, right? So I try to have really just. A few elements to start um and the, the idea of shooting that in long shot was also here from the beginning because i wanted you know to have this emergency like this urgency and to be with someone like, with a character to follow a character in real time really give you like this feeling that we are we are with her and we discover and we experience things at the same time than her right so i, I we thought that will be it would be a great way to have this sense of yeah of pressure and she have only 24 hours to make this this, this decision and uh, at the end of the day it's it's almost like a portrait of this character so there's not a lot of thing happening right it's like it's not a, like a superhero where there's a bunch of action and explosion but yeah it's it's more about who she is and how she gonna grow up and um you know of course what decision she gonna make but how she gonna you know grow and find herself in the way to making this decision. Um, so yeah, I think I wanted to make a movie simple because I like simple story. I think, um, I mean, I also like to, you know, watch movie very complex, but in my case, I, I thought that starting from my first feature, a very simple personal story was maybe a good way to start. Um, yeah. But it was very challenging, I have to say, we shot in one shot sequence. During the pandemic, we had wildfire. There was a heat wave. We lost. Oh no! <laughs> it was it was very challenging in the in the making in the process making in the actually making the movie. It was quite hard. We didn't have a lot of money, so I was glad that we at least you know was working with very little elements. I I liked all the little quirky elements. Like she had you know very colorful. Uh, uh, baby doll kind of little outfits, and mm -hmm. and I like the connective tissue that was the roller skates that sort of had her zooming along, and you just kind of kept the story, you know, it's, you know, instead of you know in a car or walking somewhere, it was different. It was different, and it and it helped us, you know, in our minds, you know, kind of roll around uh, with her. Um, and Alex, uh, the young woman who who plays Cherry. Um, <clears throat> What were the challenges in, you know, the story is you, but not you, and, you know, Cherry is you, and, but, but different. So, you know, uh, was there a struggle there writing and directing, you know, the dichotomy of, you know, what is and what isn't and how far do you make it, what really happened versus letting this other character sort of be its own version too at the same time? It's an interesting question because I put so much of me, but at the same time, it's not me. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of things that, you know, so it's really based on stuff that happened to me and it's romance, of course. Uh, but for me, it's so, I mean, when people ask me like, is it based on your like on experience? I'm like, that's so obvious. I mean, how, I mean, why would I tell a movie about, you know, someone trying to make this decision? But so I think, yeah, you know, um, starting with ourselves and putting everything we can as you know personal can only make a movie more compelling and touching because we are human we are we are like craving to to connect to each other and to i mean i i, I hope this movie will connect people and um and i think maybe that's why we make movies to feel maybe less alone and we're like okay we're not just alone in this world and <laughs> to try to to find some meaning and and just you know i don't know a little bit of warm and you know woman warm um and so, uh, man, what was what was your what was your question about? Uh, oh, you know, yeah, the, what was uh, you know you and not you? Was it was it hard to find that balance and you know okay. keeping uh, the you know the keeping the difference you know straight in your mind uh, and directing Alex you know to be let so the her was, own character grow you know. So I'm not a roller skater, and actually, when we cast Alex, um, and actually everything was on Zoom because we couldn't you know 
we were like still quarantined at home. So we had a lot of like Zoom meeting and we, and self tape, you know, most of, I mean, everything moved to self tape now with, you know, casting. So I didn't met her until we actually met on set because she was in Atlanta. So that was this difficulty. And also she's not a roller skater herself. So we also have to train her. So the, the, there was a big risk. Uh, but when I, I saw so many like actors and I, I think I had very specific thing in mind, this kind of spirit, this kind of um, quirky, uh, funny, but at the same time trying to hide like unconfidence. I think I think I have a very clear idea of what Sherry was and the spirit I was looking for. And so when I when I ran to Alex, I had this feeling like this physically feeling like, oh, my God, I think this is she, she's this. I mean, I had like this thing that I found her. Uh, but she was in Atlanta. And so that was this big risk to jump in a pool and say, OK, I'm not going to meet her. She seemed very tall. She doesn't know how to roll a skate, but let's go with her. You know, it's just like, you know, you have to take a risk. So um, and, you know, she, she she learned roller skates. You know, she 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 trained every day. She she was very in. And like me, she did travel a lot. So I, I saw in her like this kind of let's do a thing. Let's not be afraid. Let's. Let, let's take risk and I think it's what I like with her she she's not afraid to take risk and she's a very beautiful bright um, uh, spirit she's very willing to do things so that was such a blast to work with with her for my first feature because um, she was really on board and uh, I'm glad that I take this risk I took yeah, this risk. It real, it, it, yeah she was she was very smooth and very comfortable um, in, in, in her skin and your skin, you know, uh, <laughs> a little bit of both. Um, what is next for Cherry, the film? Um, are you, are you, is this, you know, where are you in your festival run or is this at the end, the middle? You know, are they going other places? So, yeah, so we all premiere at Trevica. I'm flying tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, next week to uh, Warsaw, Warsaw in Poland. So we're doing oh, our, great. Yeah, it's going to be our Europe, European premiere in, uh, in Poland, which is actually one of the countries in Europe, the more conservative yes. in, uh, in terms of women's rights mm -hmm. and abortion. Uh, so um, it's going to be interesting to, to see how the public react to that. Uh, then we are going to, uh, to Cambridge and Stockholm for the European Festival Circus. And in November, we're going to be in Goa, in India, for our Indian premiere. So yeah, very excited excited to see how um, the Indian um, you know audience will react to that because LA is so far away from Goa. I mean, it's too it's too warm. So yeah, it's, it's funny because as you say, I'm I'm French and it's an American movie. Um, so it's interesting to to travel with that. I don't know because at the end of the day, we are all human and we as women we. We may encounter the same difficulty in our life, the same, you know, challenge, and I think that connects us. I think yeah, it's a very international story at the, at the base root of it all. You know, the same situation could be anywhere, uh, but you're yeah, going to be that you know manic pixie dream girl living in Los Angeles. That's just who that character was. It, yeah. She could have been anywhere. What's next for you? Uh, do you have? Are you writing? Are you you know do you have other features in the works or more shorts? Uh, so yeah, so um, I'm trying to find time to my to write my next next uh, feature um i think um yeah i really want to move forward to that i've been also directing a french tv show this summer and i'm i'm looking forward to more like opportunity in the tv world because uh in the, you know like a, 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 a periodic you know like stories so yeah i think it's great to i mean i think we learn all our life and Every project, it's a new opportunity to to challenge ourselves and to learn and, and grow. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking for also just to direct materials that I didn't write because you know carrying a movie it's so difficult and long and and hectic. So um, yeah, directing someone else, you know, script. Or, I, I would love to you know just come on board, find project that um, I can see myself in, and also yeah, yeah, that true project, uh, Great. other projects. Um, I think that's a good place for us to stop. It's about all the time we have, mm -hmm. but it you know, I'm, I'm very charmed by Cherry and, and now sure. also by you uh, now that we've met. Uh, so please keep keep in touch with us. You know, as you as you produce other things, you know, you're 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 one of us now, and we like your storytelling. We'd love we'd love to see more in the future. I will. I will. Uh, thanks Thank very much. And this has been uh, Sophie Gallibert, and her film Cherry was part of this year's St. Louis International Film Festival. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.